Shirmaha Misha Quivin Mahi. My name is Quivin Mahi, and I'd like to teach you a lancer jig that I learned from the playing of uh, John Doherty. The lancer was uh, the first part of the lancer set and they used to use normally a single jig to the tune. So most lancers are single jigs, but this was a tune uh, used for that first part of the set that John used to play and he just simply entitled it uh, a lancer. Normally, and the start of that tune would be a double stop to emphasize the first G. So that. And um, there. There's a cut on the high G note to emphasize that. And then. And you can cut that E with your third finger or your fourth finger. And then there's the slide on the B. And that's simply done by just dropping your first finger back into the uh, B flat position and sliding it back up all on one bow.
Just to introduce some power into the tune, John, uh, when he had those long Gs or introductory Gs on the B, or on the beat, uh, he would play a double stop against the G, the bottom G, as in. The tune carries on. And that, that slide there is all done on one bow. And it's simply taking your first finger on the B note, sliding it flat, almost to the nut, and then sliding it back, all in one bow. There's also the possibility of introducing a triplet for a bit of excitement at the end of the first part. The second part of the tune there is a bit of a trill on the C naturals to emphasize those because they're actually on the beat. So it's and that G there could be tripleted. John did that sometimes. And in the melody line of the second part, sometimes John varies it just to uh, sweeten up the melody a bit. Would come out as. And then end on a double stop. In the second part, the C naturals fall on the beat and they're held a bit and to give them a bit of life, John used to trill them a small bit. And it's really a different, it's a different ornamentation from a cut. You're not actually snapping the note, you're trilling it. And you can triple it again. There. 